Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Practice project ideas, mind sweeper game. Today we are presenting you a live demonstration and implementation of mind sweeper game using Java Swing graphical user interface API application. Before we get into the implementation and demonstration, let's take a look what is actually a Minesweeper game and how to play and what are the rules. Minesweeper is a single player puzzle computer game. The objective of this game is to clear a rectangular board containing hidden mines or bombs without detonating any of them with the help of from clues about the number of neighboring mines in each field. So as you can see, this is what the board, this rectangular board is a kind of a field and inside this field you have hidden mines, a kind of a bombs. You can see these are the bombs. So all you need to do is click on this one cell and when you click on it, either you will get a bomb or some numbers. So you need to clear this rectangular board in one click and make it uh, clean. And that's how you will earn the score points. So this is how we play the Minesweeper. The design of this game is set up at the board by never placing a mine on the first square revealed. So as you can see, it's in a random pattern and it is in a rectangular board. So for graphical user interface and random logic based on any puzzle game where we have the random colors or random numbers. Or similarly, we have a pattern like if you click on it, that it will occupy the entire cells. So if you see, this is nothing but the small cell. We can mention it as a cell or a small tile or a button where you need to click. Now let's take a look at the design. The implementation of this application based on three parts. One is the board.java, which contains the complete concept of graphical user interface like J panel, a frame, a mine, a cell, empty cell, and a bomb or board. And since it is going to be in a click input, so you need to mention and override all the mouse, the action listener, an adapter or any kind of action perform activity with the mouse has to be overridden. Now for score and status message, you just need to have a text. You, that will be more clear when we see the demonstration. Now when it comes to the minesweeper.java file, another class file which contains your JFrame where we have the complete outlet of the board and the main driver method where we call the board.java file third part all we need to have the images you can use any images where you have any specific uh, expression of minds or any other background where all images I have used it's in a PNG forms now let's take a look at the demonstration so this is how this game is going to look where we have the title it's in a J frame and since it is in a swing so J frame will help you to make more improvised version of it and uh, you can have another kind of look and feel you can have more menu bars and more interacting look and feel in your application now as you can see here we these are the mines and the cells empty cells will be this one and score and status messages mentioned is here in a text field in a label form you can see now you can have more options in this like a menus like new game, exit, reset, about and clear. So the, all these menus you can improvise and add in your application. Now let's take a look at the execution. So this is my Eclipse IDE and let's take a look at the execution of your Minesweeper game. So this is my game project and here we have the package and as I mentioned, the board.java file, minesweeper.java file, and my resources where we have all the files, images files. Now let's take a look at the execution. Since it's a Java application, so it has to execute like this. So as you can see here, it started with the points 40. And if I click any cell, see, there is no bomb yet. I'm not good in this game too. So you need to guess actually. 
it should be not bomb here because it is near you see see oh my god <laughs> i'm not so good in it ah so here the mention is game lost that means you spotted a mine and it blasted your field or blasted your board so this is how you can play and it can be reset on its own so what you can do you can have more options in it and uh, start with a new game as you can see okay no mines no mines no mines no mines ouch game lost so you can start once again mines no mines no mines. oh my god i'm so bad out game lost so here there are a few things need to be added like uh, having more options and uh, so this is all about the demonstration of minesweeper game application implemented using java swing graphical user interface api so this is all about the demonstration of minesweeper game application implemented using java swing graphical user interface api thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting practice project idea for any questions and source code please please contact techbranch2019 at gmail.com and please provide your precious feedback on the comment section and any suggestions you have would like to have more specific topics please share your feedback let's make coding fun thank you